Hi, today we're going to show you guys how you can program the smart kit. This is a Camry XLE Hybrid 2016. I do have a brand new key fob right in here. Uh, of course, the key is a brand new, and this is a brand new one, and this is the original one. We are going to program it for you, and we're going to show you how it's going to, how this thing going to be done. For doing so, you need a software, they call them TechStream. I will gonna show it to you guys right in here. I'm gonna launch the software right now. And also, this software must be installed on Windows XP. It will not gonna work on any other window or um, uh, Mac. You do need this cable that it came with a software. This is a software, I bought this one in 2013. But still, this is 2016 and I can still use it. We are gonna see how this thing gonna work today. Uh, it can be this disket and a cable that one side of it is going to go to the OBD2 on the car and the other end is going to be USB that is going to be connected to the laptop right in here. I'm going to show you where this is going to be. It's going to be right under the dashboard, right in here. I'm just going to connect this. I can just... I don't looking at it, okay? One end is connected, and let me just get the other laptop. You can now go inside the car. Okay, now we're gonna connect the other end of this to the laptop. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle on. There we go. Then, not on. Do it again, yes. Now it's on. I didn't push the pedal because I don't want to turn them on. I just need to turn the key on. And now I'm just gonna say connect to the vehicle. Connect. When it shows the VIN number, I don't want you showing them. Let's let it right now. It's okay. Right now, it's okay. It's communicating with a computer on the car. You are seeing this one on the real time. We don't speed up the procedure that you guys see how this thing does work of course you can take a look at the corner and see what version of the software I'm using they call them tech stream as it shows TIS tech like technology and stream like a flow okay uh, don't show the VIN number Let's just get the VIN number in there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and pick the vehicle, it's Toyota. We're gonna pick, select which one it's gonna be. It's gonna be Camry Hybrid, and that is a Camry Hybrid right there. It's gonna say, what year is it? This is gonna go up to the 2014, but I'm just gonna pick the latest year that is possible, that's 2014, and the engine. And then I'm gonna say next. Under this tape is gonna be the VIN number of the vehicle it shows. We tape them out because it's not necessary for you guys to know what's the VIN number. Okay. It doesn't matter the door is open or closed. You can't, we left the both side door open right now. Okay, let me just get rid of this tape. Uh, now the VIN number is going to be showing up right in this corner. So I'm just going to go through these tabs right in here. On here, uh, I am going to go ahead and click on the uh, body electrical right there. And then on the corner, if you take a look at them, it said smart key right in here. It said smart key. Then I'm selecting the smart key and then I wait. Very good. Now we are going to click on the 
side you can see multiple choice one of them is said utility you click on the utility then it's going to present us with a multiple choice right in here and we select this time smart code registration we click on it okay now it's going to tell us that we have to turn our uh, turn on the uh, engine and uh, do not uh, carry any vehicle uh, any uh, phone or any cell phone or anything that has a radio frequency on them and everything is going to be time limited and also is telling us we should not have more than one key in a vehicle so we are going to remove the uh, key that is going to be completely fresh out of the vehicle couple feet away from the vehicle and then we are going to select all of this checker and I have to move this window a little up because this is a small laptop you cannot see the whole thing say next it said that the number of the space is five two already be used and this is going to be a third one that we're going to add then we say next it said the keep for the key registration it's the same thing that i told you guys you have to keep only one key that uh, you want to register in a vehicle at the beginning we keep the original one and we're going to switch it and i'll show you how this procedure works so i say next okay now we click on this you can see the procedure right in here it shows with multiple color i'm going to click on the pre-start check and this is going to be the same thing it's going to tell you how you where you have to put in them and uh, i will show it to you i click on this and i say start i do have 29 seconds to pick up the original key put this logo of the uh, toyota right by the okay, it said beep and put this one out of the vehicle Bring the brand new one and put them right there. It's making two beeping sound. Then I keep the, the key on the vehicle and we wait and it said registration is complete. Now this thing, the brand new key that we do have is done. Now we can check it to see if it does work or not. So I can get rid of the laptop. I'm going to close the laptop, exit and close the laptop and show you how this thing does work. Say yes, close them up, disconnect the OBD2 cable, take a lot of the vehicle. This is the key, this is the original key, I'm going to put on the, uh, take a look here, let me just go back. I remove the original key far away from the vehicle to make sure it does not affect the result. I'm shutting off the engine first. This is the only key that is uh, on the car right now. And hold the brake, press, the vehicle is on. I can put them in any drive or reverse. And let's just put them in a reverse that you can see the back right there. The vehicle is on right there. Now the engine came up because this is hybrid vehicle so now I can close this close the door I'm gonna shut the engine off close the door and try to lock it I doubt it that it's gonna be locked because this key is inside the vehicle but we can get out of the vehicle and try to lock it get out I'm gonna go ahead and lock the door don't show the front of the number don't show the license plate yes lock unlock and it's opening the trunk and the trunk is open that's it